Right, good morning everyone. Now, uh, last night, <laughs> while I was sat watching TV, I started to play around, as you know, I do. And let me just get organised. Because I'm going to show you how I do this. I have my little pearls. My scissors, I'm using the... Um, it's like a taffeta. No, it's not. It's, it's silk. Let me just see what it says. What is it? It's like a silk taffeta. Wired, but I take the wire out. And that's an inch and a half. And I'll show you. I'm going to make this. But I sat making these bows last night. And I think I got a little bit carried away. But um, using the two inch one as well. And I did have for this one uh, different colours now I've put the glue gun on because I need to put backings on that so I'm just and then we've got the white one as well so we've got that and then we've got the inch one to match and then I've got some green I don't know why I got the green out but I did that's the wires I've cut off because I saved them as you know and I'm going to be using those to make the central flowers so I've got my needle and thread and these are the ends because this is like a when it's all this will all be um have felt on it but it's you know like a padding like a padding uh, like a um choker you'll see what I mean so I'm just starting to do that I'm going to finish that off and then we'll make something else and we'll run the video as long as we can so I'm just going to pop those out of the way because I, I need all of this. So let's just move these out of the way because it's already got them on and I'll talk you through that. Just move those out of the way. I need that, I need that. Right, just put that out of the way. Now what I've done is I've taken a piece of the um, 1.5 inch ribbon, taken the wire out of course, and I've just made a bow with it made the bow then put, put it onto there measured it around my own neck and of course I've left about a two inch gap because that's where the chain's going to go attach onto here um, I've handmade the little bling that goes there and I've got a bling to go in the middle which I'm going to sort out now just want something that will go in the centre see something like that or maybe something like I like that it's more um, uh, it's the style I'm after so oh, hang on it's more like the Marie Antoinette style although I like that no I like that it's more that era so when the glue gun's uh, heated up, I'm going to put that on. And then all I did was I folded these like that and then hand-stitched these on as well. So we've got that to put on. My fingers don't want to work this morning. I'm finding it quite cold, actually. But for now, I just need to get my needle threaded, ready for the next one. I'm using the pink silk thread. As I do. And I'm going to put chain on as well. I'll pop some chain on. See if I can thread. I broke a needle last night. I was so peed off about it. The one of my fine beading needles. Fortunately, I do have some more. We do sell them in the shop. I just. Yeah, the. They're not painful my hands, I haven't had painful hands for a while but they're um, like numbish so that on a morning they don't really want to work or I can't feel that they're working and if it don't rain it pours <laughs> right I'm just going to double knot this I hope you're seeing this and just trim that end bit off uh, just wait for the glue gun so I'm not worried about any of the stitching 
because that goes behind the neck and I'm going to colour it in anyway with a felt. So I just hand stitched those on, made this little thing. But what I need to do is to get this chain. Now, what I like about this chain, it's got different size uh, beads on. And I need my... Where's my pliers? These are the ones I'm after, I think. So I've opened the loop last night. I, I started to do it and couldn't be bothered. Um, I need to get the little silver loops out. They split rings. Oops, they came out, didn't they? I don't want them too big if I can help it. So let's see if we can get two small ones out of here. Let's have a look. Oh, of course, they all have to be together. Why are they all caught up? There we are. These are the ones I'm after, these small ones. See if I can manoeuvre these where I want them to be. And because this is done with wire, I want to be able to clip that in there. Let me just see. Yeah, and clip that back. If they are a bit fidgety, these sort of things, when you're doing them, I'm just making sure they are clipped together. So that's the first ring on, and then you take, like I say, the end of this, and then I need to pop that onto that ring and clip that back in place like that. So what I'm going to do, if I can, is to sit that in there and then I need to do the identical thing that side. Oops a day is it. So I'm opening the largest bead there, slipping that off and we'll do that again in a minute. Um, and I'm not sure if I can pop that through there without using a ring. Maybe I can. Maybe I can't. <laughs> like that. Like I say, it can be tricky. That's done that. So that's that bit. And then I need the identical one. Maybe I should have put that on that side and put that to there. Yes, I should. I'm going to change that around. Because I've just thought about that. So let me just undo this. We'll change these two around. I prefer it this way, I think. So you've just got to be careful with these. Like that. So this is what I call my Marie Antoinette choker. Right, we shall flip that over so I can now pin these two together. That's it, I like it better like that. It looks more delicate sort of thing. So uh, one, two, three, four, five, all oh, right, five of the large ones. I've got to get this right. That should fit just there. Let's have a look. Just undo that. Slip that one off, and then that shirt. We'll put the ring on there. I 
on this one. Like that. Try and pin those two together. Like I say, it can be a little bit tricky getting them back. That's it. Done that. And then we pin this one back on to that loop. Like that. And open up. Now just gotta make sure one, one, two, three. I've got more on there, why? We're supposed to be even. Right, hang on. Three on that one. One, two, three. I think I need to open that one. Does that look the same? Sorry, just bear with me. Yeah. I've got to open this up. We do want them to match. Like that. And we need that to fit just in there. Open it up a little bit more. There we go. And pin that back. That should be right. See, like that. For the choker. Right, I think this is hot enough. I am going to glue this on. How do I want it? Like that. So, oh, that looks nice, doesn't it? Now, I've not finished because I want to put some more little trinkets and bits and pieces on. Now, what I've got are these pearls, which I might use, as well as these. Now, I love these, but this is silvery, so it has to be silvery. But I've got those to put a bit of colour in it. So let's have a look. And they're just cut from jewellery. I do want a little bit of colour. So I'm going to put one on here. For colour. It's a, they match really well actually. And that one for colour. Oops, don't need to go on there underneath. Let's have a look. Because like I say, um, it would be worn as a choker. Like that, and then one on this side as well. And I'm also going to put one here just to tuck there, and we will do one there as well so that it all matches yeah now I like that and that's quite uh, I, I don't know I think we need one here and one there what do you think you lot 
not sure but I do like that so now what I need to do is to put the chain on now I have chain here let me just sort my tub out and I need uh, let's have a look see which one I need oh I had some gorgeous butterflies there as well now hang on I might do don't know yet <laughs> I've got my chain here and I need I think I'm going to use this chain so what I'm going to need for the back is a little claw I'm going to use that one another ring so we'll put that one on as well We've got a smaller one that'll do so on one end we just attach the chain like that and attach that to the end of there like that um, and then we need a loop on the end of that but I don't know how long to cut that at the moment so I'm just going to attach the um hook claw and that's going to go on the end of a piece of chain so what i'm going to do is attach it to the other end of this first and then cut it where i um oops that needs to go on there um i don't need it on the chain sorry i do apologize it just needs to go yes it does it needs to go on a little bit of chain Yes, it does, otherwise that's going to be tight for somebody to... Um, so we'll keep that on there. I don't want it too tight, you know, and fiddly for somebody. And then I'm going to cut the chain there. You only need a small length. And then take another one of these. attach that and then attach that to that end like that where's my players gone use these so what we need then is to take this off and I'm just going to measure it around my neck. I think I've got an average neck. Let me just see. Yep, as long as we can do that, that'll be fine. About there. So we need another one of those to go in there. And then we fasten that back up. And then we can fasten that to that. And there is a choker. Now, not finished yet. Let me put that bit of chain back because I don't want to lose that. We also keep things like that that we've just cut off because you never know. The connectors, pearl connectors. So that will go back in the bag. And let's have a look. What I've got to do now is I'm just going to undo that because I need to sort the back out. Like that. Put my needle away because I know what I'm like. Um, and I've got some felt here. That I just have to put across. I did make a mistake, that's my fault. But I uh, couldn't undo it because I couldn't get the needle back through. So I'm not fussed. You won't see it when this is on. need to cut that down a little bit so I get rid of those bits now I need another glue stick
and then all I do is attach that to there like that just keep pulling that down um, and then I take two more of these and we'll just trim them into small circles near enough and you just pop those over the bits that you've sewn because a lot of that was hand sewn you see there. Uh, another two. Like that. And we can do that which just covers that and the same for the other side So we just cover that like that. And I think that's it. But it's just to share with you the things you can do. And um, I like that. Like I say, unless you've got short hair, you won't see the stitching or anything. But... Uh, I'm just, do you know what? I haven't quite finished. <laughs> oh, I get like that. I get like that. Hang on. Because I just feel there's something missing. Are they the same? We want two of those. I can find another two. There's another one, I'm not sure if... No, they're different. Hang on. Let's see, do they look the same? Oh, they do look the same, it's that one that's different. Okay, what I'm going to do, I'm not stitching this one on, but I'm going to glue it in. Is to... Glue that in there. And glue that one in there. I just there was just something missing. That's better. And that is my um Marie Antoinette choker. I think that's really nice. So Hmm, I'm going to take a picture of that. I've got the, the, like the stand that I put my necklaces on and I'll take a picture of it so you can see what it's like. But I do like that. So that's that. Now before the camera runs out, like I said, I have, hang on a minute. Um, oh, I did these last night as well. So I've got these, to, I might as well do one now. These were just some flowers I was making. I sat crocheting. I was just, I was bored actually. Really bored. <laughs> so um, I thought, oh, do you know what? Do a bit of 
crochet in or something because it's fast and easy to do so what I'm going to do is just to stitch these in and put this flower together while the camera lasts if the camera cuts out I will come back and do uh, part two but I just wanted you to see what I was making last night that's that one One. I've, I've got a video out how to do these and uh, just look for crochet type crochet on my channel and it'll come up and uh, I think we call this the Giselle flower and don't ask me how I remembered that actually I do remember it because somebody asked me the other day for uh, have I done anything like this and I've put yes so I went looking that's how I remember That's all I need to do there. Like that, that's one. They're really simple to do. You do a ring of six and then you chain in between each one. And then you do three chains in between each one of those single chains. And then at the end, what you can see is Instead of doing another chain like that, well, you do three of them, but go back in to the next one. So you're just flipping it over from leaf, to, you know, from petal side to petal. I don't know if you can see it. So chain six, and you do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That should be three, six, yeah, twelve. Chain twelve of these single ones. And then between each one of them you chain three. And then at the end to finish off, in between each one of them you do a chain three and pull it over to the next one. Instead of going down and doing this, you just drop it over like that all the way and you get that flower. And they look really nice. And this one is you do a square. And all you do is do the edging on the square. Chain six. Make your square like that. We're chaining three in between for the corners. I, I, I show you how to do it anyway, so there is a video out on how to do this. But it does make a really nice flower. It really does. I love this flower. So that's that. It gives you the flounce. And then you just do this the same. Out. So I'm just going to put this one together. Oh, come on, glue, 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 glue. Don't really want to use that one. Let's have a look at some of these. Use some of my scraps up. Okay. Now I don't really want to get that on there. <coughs> Now I can use a really big pearl for that and I'm going to pop that on, push that down and I need to take that off and cut that because <laughs> I didn't do it. 